guys, Joe right here and today we're discussing about downgrades. Hell yeah, the downgrades are about to not be a thing of past anymore. Why? Well, somebody is working on a downgrade tool that might work with all 64 devices, but very important, and this is what we're going to discuss today, you need to save your bloobs now. Now, SHSH bloobs are the signature uh, files that the Apple server is sending to the device when a specific iOS version can be installed. It's signed. And so the device knows that it is signed and can restore it. That's the single point of the restore status. And if you save your bloops now, you will be able to use that tool in the future. If you don't, you're going to cry in the future. So I'm going to show you today how to save your bloops using the tool, the tool that the same person created to help you save the bloops in the new format. Now, the um, signature bloops used to be SHSH format. Now, the new signature bloops are SHSH2. So, without losing more time, let's go into it. At first, there are two different tools released at the same time, so we don't know what to use. The uh, format is not the same on both of them. The first one is a an user interface uh, file that, as you can see, it's able to save your bloops for all signed versions, including the ones from here, as you can see, for both OTA update and also for Erase. And what I found using this tool is something very in interesting. The iPhone 5 has iOS 10.2, 10.1, and so on signed, but also iOS 8.4.1 on OTA, which, <laughs> why? Apple, just why? And then, I also used to save the bloops with this. This is the tool that this guy created. He's also going to create a tool for downgrade in the future. I download blog also covered this topic, so it's a real deal. So how are we going to save with these tools? At first, we're going to start with this tool right here because this is the most important one because it will work with the downgrades. So let me tell you why would you downgrade. At first, you probably know that an iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak is already published, well, partial jailbreak, and will become a full jailbreak soon, which means that you will be able to jailbreak iOS 10.1.1 that it's signed for the moment. But, stay a little bit with me, iOS 10.1.1 will no longer be signed soon because Apple is going to close the signature window now that the exploits are on the loose. So, why? What is going to be signed? iOS 10.2. iOS 10.2 is already up. iOS 10.1.1 has no more uh, means for being signed and Apple can kill it at any point. So it's very important for those of, who, of you who want to jailbreak on iOS 10.1.1 to save your bloops because if you jailbreak and something goes wrong or you install a tweak that messes up your iOS version and you need to restore, you will be forced to go to 10.2. Using the saved bloops and using the tool that is going to be released, you will be able to downgrade to 10.1.1 and be jailbroken again even if Apple no longer sign it, which is so damn cool. So let's do it. At first you need to download the tool that is in the description. I'm going to start with the TSS checker and I'm going to show you how to use it. Well, it's not the simplest application. As you can see, it prints a lot of text, it prints a lot of commands, but it boils down to just a simple command lines. So what you need first, you can uh, fetch bloops for uh, random devices, but I'm going to use a real device for this because it's safer. So I'm going to connect my iPhone 6 in a recovery mode. Recovery mode is the mode when it shows the iTunes logo and a power cable against a black window. Um, you can learn more in the description or on the web on how to put the device in recovery mode. It's a K combination. Then I'm going to open iTunes because I need the um, ACID for the device. Right, so uh, how I'm going to do that? I'm going to go in here, and as you can see, it's in recovery mode, and so if I click on serial, it shows ACID. Right, click and copy this number from here, close iTunes, and do the following command. Call the application, sorry, like this, then dash D, and write the name of your device. For example, if you don't know what your device um, type is, just write list devices first devices and it will tell you all the devices sorry I did something wrong like this you need two dashes and you have all the names of all devices because you're going to need it then if you know your device type you just need to write D and for example iPhone 6 it's iPhone uh, 7.2 I 
phone 7 comma 2 then E and then you need to paste your ACID in here so it will fetch the bloops for your specific device not some random bloops that may work or may not right then I'm going to write I dash I am the iOS version 10.1.1 because this is what I'm interested in and do not forget to add dash S in order to save them because if you don't they're not going to be saved now press enter Remember, you can only do this if the iOS version is signed at the time you're trying. As you can see, saved SSH bloops. Now you're safe. And how are you going to find the file? It's very important to be able to also find the file, right? You need to go to the finder, right click on the applications, show and closing folder. Then you need to go into your account on users, mic in my case, and you're going to find a file called this one right here. This is your bloob because it has the SHSH2 format and this is the bloob for your device. I'm going to show you what it contains. It's basically a uh, plist format. I'm going to open it and as you, as you can see it contains the, uh, the bloob including an app EMG4 ticket and all the signatures for the baseband and so on which will allow you to downgrade when the tool is released. If you don't have that little file you won't be able to do anything because iOS 10.1.1 will most likely no longer be signed at that point. Now Windows users and Linux users would tell me uh, but how the hell I'm going to do that? Well the tool is available for Windows and for Linux as well on description so be sure to check it out right so I'm going to put the uh, command in the description as well and let's move on to the next tool the next tool is not created by the same person but it also helps fetching the bloops so what I'm going to do is to power on the device in normal mode now and connect it to this why we're saving with two different uh, programs because we don't know which of this is good and it's better to have the best format the TSS checker saves in SHSH2 and this one saves in a completely different format. You don't know when you're going to need the bloops saved with this app as well. So I recommend you to do this. Save them with both applications. As you can see right here it says connected an iPhone 6 right here and it already detected its ACID. So the difference between this one and this one is that the uh, the one I have right now in here is not a shell tool, it is a user interface tool, but they don't do the same thing. Well, they do. They actually download SSH bloops, SHSH bloops, but not the same format. So uh, you better save with both of them to be Sure. And what you're going to do now is to, for example, click on the connected device and you need to click request SHSH. It will request them automatically and save them for all the versions. So this one right here only saves for the version you are specifying, for example, Tempo 1.1, but this one saves the bloops for every device that is signed at this point. But unfortunately, I don't think you can use the uh, blobs from here to the downgrade tool, I, I have no idea, I'm going to ask the uh, creator. And as you can see, it downloaded the bloops starting from 10.1 because it's signed to 10.1.1 and also for 10.2, which is the latest version. Pretty great applications, both of them are useful. Use both of them to download and keep the file encrypted, stored, the, I don't know, copy it on 200 disks and four floppy disks and I don't know, just make sure you keep this file safe because this will mean the key for you to be able to downgrade back to the iOS 10.1.1 in the future when it will probably be history after 10.2.1 and so on. So just make sure you use these tools. Also, using this tool I'm going to show you uh, why it's white. Let me try to close this first. Using this tool, you have other uh, things. For example, you can uh, you can get a blob without the uh, baseband, without the app ticket, or you can specify your own app ticket or your own SEP uh, ticket, which is for customizing the blob. But in most of the times, and 100% of the times, uh, what command I use will be enough for you to be able to get the blobs for uh, for downgrade in the future. Now, for those of you who want to check out the project. Uh, Tim Star is the creator, high proofs for him, and uh, you can get it from the uh, from the GitHub. It is a project uh, in uh, Xcode that you can fork yourself and so on. It's available for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, so you can take it and get the uh, the bloops to be able to downgrade at any point in time using the bloops you saved. Now uh, I'm going to show you. 
the tool that is going to be uh, released it's called Prometheus and it's upcoming tool that may allow you to up to downgrade to unsigned iOS versions. So this is basically uh, covering about the uh, SS, SHSH2 format and why you need uh, to do that. It says right here the bloops must be saved with the new format called SHSH2. So previously saved bloops will not work. So if you already have bloops, it won't work. You need to save them with this tool called TSS Checker. Very important. There is also a guide. And here you have a couple of things. As with all downgrade tools, many caveats apply. Some of Prometheus requir requirements are 64-bit only, at least initially, need a jailbreak, but a jailbreak is going to be available. Uh, your jailbreak must have F uh, TFP0 functionality. It most, like, it most likely have. And you must have the SHSH2 bloops in here. So the file from here is required. If you don't have this file, you won't be able to do anything. So this is it guys. Do not forget to check out the forum as well. If you have any questions, we also started a new forum that you can check it out. The um, subscription on the forum is free. So go ahead, make yourself an account. And we also have um, topics about iOS, jailbreaking, tweaks, reverse engineering, iCloud, iDevice repairs, and so on. So if you have any questions, put them down below or on the forum. And do not forget to check out my reverse engineering playlist for more info. Keep in mind, if you want to jailbreak, you should stay on iOS 10.1.1 because we discussed there is an upcoming jailbreak and it's already right here, the project. You have it right here. Let me show you. We discussed about this project and it's already available. So you can check it out to get full root shell access on your device and sandbox escaping, which is very important. That's it, guys. Till the next time. Peace out.